Here's a basic worksheet about population density. It defines the term and offers examples for students to complete using a basic formula. Good for the basics, but population density goes much deeper than just a formula. I could spend a day lecturing, or I can transform my assignment into something with much more utility. This is Population Density Transformed. The following lesson was created on www.blendspace.com, a digital learning environment. Students were given a fictional country with the task of finding the most populated city. I provided 10 clues in the form of maps, news articles, quiz questions, and photographs. The investigation was completed at home as a flipped lesson. Here's some students working from their homes, the after-school computer lab, or anywhere and anytime they choose. As student answers poured in, I was able to determine what students understood and what needed to be reviewed the next day. The next day, many students showed me the exact location with the highest population density. Now, students possess the skills to judge where people likely live in any country. In other words, instead of just giving students a fish, I taught them the fish. A one-to-one -one learning environment can make lessons like these possible in every subject at every grade level. In Hobart, we are ready to transform.